Today marks the start of Black History Month. We begin this celebration and journey through knowledge right here at home in Louisville. The subject today is something I knew nothing about, but may have possibly seen at some time in my life. What a lot of people don't know is the backstory behind how and why you know sugar uh, came to be and how and why we have these pieces of furniture that were made in Kentucky from about 1790 to 1850. The pieces of furniture now displayed at the Speed Museum's Kentucky Gallery were known as sugar chest. The sugar chest itself is an iconic and idiosyncratic piece of furniture that was made in Kentucky. They are equipped with locks um, and that was to, to protect the, the rare and expensive um, item within. That item was sugar. To get the sugar enslaved men, women, and children endured the dangers of harvesting the sugar cane, the furnaces, the mills, and the slave owners. The whole transatlantic economy rose up around the sugar trade. Um, in fact, it was once called white gold um, when it was first cultivated because of its rarity and expense. Kentucky's connection to the sweet treasure, the beautiful sugar chest, and the enslaved Americans who played an integral part in cultivating the cane and producing the sugar. So immediately when our visitors come down into the exhibition, they're confronted with this colorful blow up of uh, actual sugar cane. Images all through the exhibition bring together archival documents, pictures, artifacts, photographs, and contemporary artwork to follow the story of sugar cane. Which is really kind of blown up to scale just to give visitors um, just sort of a better idea of the reality of the sugar cane plant. It could grow to be about 20 feet tall, depending on its variety. The bitter and the sweet, Kentucky sugar chest, enslavement, and the transatlantic world 1790 to 1865, now found in the Speed Museum's Kentucky Gallery. Jennifer Downs, assistant curator at the Speed, believes all the items carefully selected for the exhibit show the bitter reality of the sugar trade and its production. Down shows one of the exhibit items she discovered while planning the show. It was a document from 1831 um, of a number of enslaved men, women, and children who were trafficked aboard the steamboat Hibernia. The steamboat Hibernia traveled from Virginia through Louisville. Kentucky was known as a slave breeding state and an exporter of enslaved laborers. It then made its way downriver with human cargo south to New Orleans. We also have a, a document that shows that that steamboat was carrying sugar back up to back up to Louisville that same year. The cost of that sweet commodity during the sugar and slavery trade cost more than most of us dare to imagine. But just to see those documents that show the reality, I think it's important for people to see. It's very heavy. Now you can actually still find sugar chests today. I saw one being sold online for $25,000. That's a real antique sugar chest, not a blanket chest. The exhibition at the Speed Museum's Kentucky Gallery will run through April 7th. The bitter and the sweet is viewed as a first of its kind hybrid art and history exhibition because of the variety of animals put, uh, items put together to tell this story. For more on the bitter and the sweet, Kentucky sugar chest enslavement and the transatlantic world, 1790, 1865, you can head to wave3.com.